Considered high-profile figures, some athletes take for granted the platform and popularity they have, which sometimes led them to have a run-in on the law. Although concerning heavier matters, some others have it worse by being arrested and convicted, which had them spending time behind prison bars. In today's episode, we'll be sharing with you a list of top athletes who got arrested. So stay tuned to know more. Aaron Hernandez Compared to other sports, criminal behavior among football players have been studied more compared to other sports since the number of football athletes who've been involved in domestic violence against their partners, children, or even among their peers, so don't be surprised if you notice that a lot of names included in this list are football athletes, beginning with Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez has become a pretty infamous name in the football industry because of what he did to a fellow athlete. He was a New England Patriots tight end who played for the NFL for three seasons when his sports career was cut short after his arrest and conviction of the murder of aspiring football player Odin Lloyd in June 2013. In April 2015, he was convicted of first-degree murder where he was sentenced to life imprisonment without any possibility of parole. While he was serving his time behind bars, Hernandez made headline news once again when he committed suicide at the Massachusetts prison in 2017 at the age of 27. Shortly after, his conviction was vacated for a short while, but in 2019, the verdict was reinstated. The Boston University researchers did a study of Hernandez where they found out that the late athlete suffered from a severe form of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE. This medical condition is a result of repeated head trauma, which is pretty common among football players that affect the part of the brain associated with impulse control, emotions, and fear, meaning in some cases, CTE is partially responsible for the violent behaviors exhibited by some athletes, Julian Edelman. Next on today's list is another football player who also played for the New England Patriots as its wide receiver, Julian Edelman. Compared to Hernandez, Edelman did a lighter offense but still got arrested for misdemeanor vandalism in Beverly Hills back in January of 2020. The wide receiver allegedly jumped and caused damage to a vehicle which took place a week after the team got eliminated from the playoffs. Fortunately, the owner of the vehicle didn't press any charges, nor did he face any legal concerns, but he did get disciplined by the NFL, Antonio Brown. Continuing with the list, we have Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver receiver Antonio Brown, who got into trouble with the law also in January of 2020. Brown faced three criminal charges concerning an alleged assault for a delivery truck driver, wherein the driver narrated that the athlete refused to pay him $4,000 for service rendered in relocating Brown's belongings from California to Florida. Not only did he not pay, but the driver also stated that Brown threw a rock at his vehicle before leaving. He faced three criminal charges, namely felony burglary conveyance, misdemeanor battery, and misdemeanor criminal mischief. Later we'll share with you a famous basketball star who's got a little too many run-ins with the law, as well as a renowned boxing champion who was supposed to serve 10 years in prison. Are you curious to know who these are? Then keep on watching to know more. Mike Tyson. Known as one of the most famous and greatest boxers of all time, being a popular figure didn't shield Mike Tyson from the law. Aside from being a famous boxer, Tyson has served behind bars for different convictions because of his temper. He was first convicted of rape back in 1992, where he was initially sentenced to serve 10 years in prison, but the last four of the term were suspended. He went on to have a stellar boxing career, but in 1999, Tyson was once again got in trouble with the law, and this time, he was charged with assaulting two motorists after a traffic accident in August of 1998. Kid Dynamite was sentenced to a year of imprisonment with two years probation, fined $5,000, as well as underwent community service for 200 hours. In 2006, Tyson was arrested for the third time, and this time in Scottsdale, Arizona, under suspicion of DUI as well as felony drug possession. Tyson nearly crashed into a police SUV after leaving a club where he expressed on his official statement that he used drugs and that he was an addict suffering from drug problems. On January 22, 2007, he pleaded guilty to felony drug possession and paraphernalia possession counts, and two misdemeanor counts of DUI. He was jailed for 24 hours and upon his release, was sentenced to serve three years probation with 360 hours of community service. Two years later, Tyson was yet again arrested for getting into a scuffle with a reporter at the airport in 2009. But fortunately for the boxing champ, no charges were filed, so he walked free. OJ Simpson. Another athlete that made it to this list is none other than OJ Simpson. At the time, Simpson's account was one of the most high-profile criminal cases that became a national frenzy. Playing for the Buffalo Bills as its wide receiver, Simpson became infamous for being arrested and tried for the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, as well as her friend, Ron Goldman, back in 1994. He was acquitted of both murder charges, and it was only during a civil trial held in October of 2008 when Simpson was found guilty. He was sentenced to serve behind bars for 33 years with eligibility for parole after nine years. Last October 2017, where he was finally granted parole and three months later, Simpson walked free. Aside from that, this former NFL star was arrested in September of 2007 and initially held without bail for breaking into the hotel room of a sports member memorabilia dealer where they stole memorabilia and held the dealer at gunpoint. The athlete was accompanied by a group of men and denied the allegations of them carrying weapons. Later, he was set for bail at $125,000. Dennis Rodman. Last but not least, we have another prominent figure in sports history, the basketball industry in particular, who is pretty notorious when it comes to legal woes. Dennis Rodman experienced one too many arrests in his life, so hold on to your seats. Back in the day, this renowned basketball player is known for parting a little too hard off the court, but he's gotten himself into several legal troubles as well. Most prominent of these are the various sexual 
assault cases he had to settle out of court. Back in 1999, he was arrested for public drunkenness in August after he got into a fight at Woody's Wharf in California, where he spent the night in prison. Fortunately for him, the charges were dropped so Rodman became a free man the following day. The same year, he and his then-wife, Carmen Electra, were charged with misdemeanor battery, where each posted bail amounting to $2,500 in November, and the charges were also dropped the following month. In December of 1999, he got arrested for driving without a valid driver's license as well as drunk driving, where he pleaded guilty on both charges and paid $2,000 as fines, where he also attended a three-month treatment program. You'd think after all these, Rodman would have quietly settled in and focused on basketball, but it doesn't stop there. Trust us, there's more where that came from. A mere three years later, the former basketball player set up a restaurant as a side business when he got arrested for interfering with police investigations at the said restaurant in 2002. Thankfully, the charges were dropped, but the local authorities became regular visitors at his residence because of the loud parties held in his house. The following year, he got arrested for alleged domestic abuse against his then fiance in 2003. Then on April 24th, he pleaded no contest to drunk driving in Las Vegas, where he was sentenced to serve 30 days of home detention and fined $1,000. In 2008, Rodman was arrested twice two more times. In April concerning a domestic violence incident in a hotel in Las Vegas, and in June where he pleaded no contest to misdemeanor spousal battery charges. For the latter, he was ordered to undergo a year in domestic violence counseling and 45 hours of community service, along with three years probation. Just when we were thinking Rodman had mellowed out in recent years, he was involved in a hit-and-run accident in July of 2016, where he was charged with driving without a license and lying to the police on Interstate 5 near Santa Ana, California, which was sentenced to him in November of the same year. He pleaded guilty to the charges and was ordered to compensate for the damages, and was ordered to donate $500 to the Witness Emergency Fund. In line with this, he was also sentenced to three years of probation with 30 hours of community service. In 2018, Rodman got arrested for DUI, wherein he pleaded guilty to two misdemeanor charges and received three years of probation. His most recent legal trouble happened last October of 2019, where he got arrested for slapping a man at the Buddha Sky Bar in Delray Beach, Florida, where he was charged with misdemeanor battery. And with that, we're concluding today's episode about the list of top athletes who got arrested. Do you know other athletes who got arrested recently? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button with the notification bell on, so you won't miss any of our uploads. Thanks for watching, and see you again.